everyone, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It's our hope that by watching our video, you will have a better understanding of what type of rubber to use when buying or making your own stone veneer molds. We started out as a company selling and manufacturing urethane rubber molds, so we're very experienced in both um, urethane and latex, since now over the last few years we've been using uh, latex rubber exclusively. Um, you can see in this image here, the bottom part of the image is urethane rubber and the top part of the image, the mold cavity on the top, is latex rubber. And you can see there's a significant difference in the texture quality. The uh, urethane rubber is muted in texture, the latex rubber is not, and it's very simple because with latex rubber you don't need to use a release agent. And with urethane you do, and that transfers over into the finished product. And also with urethane you get a lot of bug holes in them and those bug holes transfer into your stone veneer into uh, little bug holes again because it's little pockets of air that were trapped that's just the nature of the beast when you make urethane molds uh, air gets trapped in there and it has to escape and once the rubber hardens, the urethane rubber hardens the, uh, the air just leaves a little air hole so that's what it is you can see here I'm playing around with the molds the urethane rubber is about 10 times heavier than the latex rubber mold and keep in mind that the latex rubber mold that we're showing you here is our super skin and it's about five pounds our uh, manufacturer molds are about seven pounds are just a little bit thicker but in to be honest with you uh, we have manufacturing clients that uh, make thousands of square feet a day with these super skins and you can even see some of the larger stone veneer manufacturers are using skin type of molds they're probably either using latex or silicone so they can reproduce the natural stone detail they're not using urethane rubber uh, just so you guys understand that and, um, and also for fatigue, working with the molds, either you're going to have your employees working with them or you're going to be working with them. The urethane rubber mold, you're going to be dead at the end of the day because they're so heavy. You're not going to be able to handle them as easy. And there's a lot of fatigue. And you can see here the latex rubber. And I'm sorry, folks, I'm about ready to flip you off. And I really didn't mean that. But there you go. Sorry about that. And uh, with latex rubber mold, I can hold it up with one finger and um, there's no fatigue whatsoever. You can lift them, you can carry them around all day and it's not gonna have any difference on you, on, on your body. But you know, the urethane rubber is just, it's just heavy, a lot heavier. And the reason for that is because um, the way that they're created, the urethane rubber molds are created by pouring the rubber, a liquid rubber into a box and letting the, the rubber harden. And, um, and then you pull the rubber mold out as a whole block mold. The latex rubber mold, it takes a lot longer. It's about five times longer to create a mold with the latex rubber mold, you build your molds layer by layer, uh, which prevents the um, bug holes and all the different little problems that you get. And also, you can focus your rubber on the areas that matter. The only areas that matter on the rubber mold are around the mold cavities. The mold cavities have to be rigid enough to hold the concrete up, which ours are. And they also have to be strong enough to have some abuse to them, and these will. And we guarantee that our molds will last just as long as the urethane molds, as long as you handle them properly and keep them out of sunlight and things like that. And, um, you know, even our super skins will outperform a urethane rubber mold. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. Um, this is just a sneak peek video. We have another video that we're working on behind the scenes. This is actually some of the scenes from it um, that will explain more in detail and show the difference in texture from the stones created from the rubber molds and things like that. But hopefully this video will um, help you guys understand the difference. And I know we get a lot of calls and a lot of you are, are telling us that there's really no difference and that you guys know what you're talking about. And if you haven't worked with both types of molds, you don't know what you're talking about. So hopefully this video will help clarify things. And uh, if you have any comments or you guys want to um, give us any insight on urethane, how urethane is better or whatever, you know, feel free to send us an email. Uh, send an email to team at scsprecast.com. And we appreciate you watching, and happy stonemaking. Bye-bye.